Fractal 23, the Nightmare Fractal. This is a long fractal. Even though I did reasonably well, it still took me around an hour. It's NG time again, and this time with a Berserker build. It's mostly mandatory for the second boss, but you'll see there. I also have the Ascendant set as a backup, but I found a way to not make it a mandatory set. After Ark's first monologue, we come to our first arena. We need to kill a lot of adds first before the next boss starts, with the Elite Knight being a real danger. The giant robot, also referred to as Mama, is quite scary. Most of the times it will start out with a spin attack, which is advised to avoid it by running outside of the red circle or block it or dodge it. But her most lethal attack is her ranged attack. She would do this one a lot and at long range it's not an issue, but if you're staying at close range you will, you will be shotgunned to death. She also has a ring attack where she spawns several rings. Try to stay outside of the orange rings and it should be fine. There's also an arena spanning nuke where you have to run to arc for his shield or be downed. You can survive this with death negating effects. After this nuke, a lot of little robots will spawn. These robots are deadlier than you might think because they will give you a short lift but high stack of confusion. Safest way is to wait it out, because if you mindlessly attack, then you will down yourself in seconds. Last attack is where Mama throws a single ball, which will spawn into three, which East will spawn into three, East will spawn into three. The best way to avoid this is to not go to the outsides of the arena, where you'll be inside the cluster of balls. At 33% and lower, she will become mobile and every so often leaves a puddle of acid. Try to stay out of the puddle and kite mama around. In this phase she has four attacks. One where she throws out a few balls, one where she swings a few times, which has a long range and does a lot of damage, and one where she stumbles forward with two swings, then does a back swing, and then does three triangle swings forward. These are easy telegraphed and you can just outstep them. And lastly, she has one where she will jump towards you, slam the ground, and a shockwave appears. After our first boss, it's time for the orbs and the circles. We are greeted by some hallucinations, which are dealt with by blinding them. As for the orbs, the yellow red balls will do a decent amount of damage, so try to not eat a lot of them, but they're not that dangerous. The big orb in the middle will also spawn blue balls, which heal for quite a lot, even through agony. Agony is important because, as you can see, the big orb sometimes has a purple agony effect. When you stand inside the circle, when the agony effect happens, you will get agony for around 5 seconds. This means that it's difficult to survive inside there with heal skills and eating a lot of balls, or you can do what I did without agony resistance, Weave in and out, and avoiding the agony hit.
Second boss, CX. I start the fight with a few experiments. CX, at the start of his fight and during the fight, every so often, I think around every minute, he will do an arena spanning attack. And if you don't break his bar, then he will do exactly your amount of health as damage. I've tried a few things to see if I can outlive it. And it seems that blocking and invulnerabilities don't work, but AED, and I know from experience that misluck singularity, ignore the lethal blow and allow you to live. This forces NG. You can also probably use Barrier because it's a 100% damage attack, which means that Barrier can help you survive. Although on NG, it's around 1500, 1600 Barrier, which I'm not really comfortable on. So I went with AAD, which heals for quite a lot. My first encounter with CX was short-lived because he also has the ball attack, just like Mama, and I got shotgunned. Aside from the ball attack, he also shares the cascading cluster ball. And he has a new ball, which is just a giant poison field. Getting close to CX, he will do a tail swipe, which will knock you back, which is avoided by staying at range. I use Mechalex to avoid all his attacks by being just fast enough to outrun everything. Also in this fight, you will sometimes puke. Luckily, I'm alone, so I can just do my dirty business in peace, without bothering anyone else. At 50% and lower, Volatile Hallucinations spawn. These tether to you with a lightning bolt to show that they will follow you until they're close enough to explode. When they're close enough, they will retreat a bit and explode in an orange circle. You can avoid this by dodging at the right time, blocking invulnerables, blinding the hallucinations, or be really fast and outstep them, but that is a really tight window. Most of the time I try to round them up and get rid of them with a well-timed block or evade. last boss, Enceladus. After being smudged by him for an achievement, he will spawn as an incomplete being. He has a tail swipe and he rushes forward, but mostly he is harmless. After he has dealt enough damage, he will evolve right before your eyes and will gain a lot of new abilities. Just like the others before him, he has a cascading ball attack, which he will only do if there is no one close to him. Normally doesn't happen because his melee 
but he has also an attack where he teleports to the outside of the ring and then runs through it with a giant arrow as warning to the other side of the arena where he will often do his cluster attack. He also has a tail swipe and he can teleport to players he is too far away from. He also has the arena spanning attack like Mama, but this is an easy way for you to recover and deal some free damage to him. Note that you can't CC him in this phase, so sometimes I place down soft CCs and my big ol' bomb and he goes into his special phase. At 66% and 33% we gain the balls and circles again. Only this time the red yellow balls and the blue balls come from the big orb in the center and we need to capture 5 circles before we can continue. I get hit by Agony a few times and get really close to failing one time, but all in all I managed to do it without any Agony resistance. And lastly at 50% there, there will be one last phase where you can only stand in the middle in the shield of Arc and Ancelus will be more vulnerable so the last 15% should go faster than normal. He's also standing still, but the things to look out for is that outside of the shield you will get a lot of damage and you will be poisoned. Lots of little hallucinations will swarm you and try to kill you, although they ha don't have a lot of health, so they're easily dispatched with some AoE. And veteran hallucinations will run across the arena, but you'll be warned by a giant arrow. If you stand right in front of him, as I did, there's only one single arrow which you need to be wary of. But I believe there is a very safe spot where you don't have to move at all. But I didn't find it at this particular moment.
That's the Nightmare Fractal done. It was less of a nightmare than I thought. I'm actually looking forward to the tier 2 one. But before we can get to tier 2, there's two more fractals to beat. See you in level 24. <laughs>